I have got an amazing story for you guys. Something that is, as far as I know, has never happened before. And it's the craziest thing I've ever witnessed while out on a sea duck hunt, let alone it happening to me personally. Surviving duck season, offering you the best waterfowl content. Subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, and don't miss any of our great content. Presented by Mojo Outdoors. One set of clients had already limited out, and my other captain was there, so I had another client who wanted to get in the layout boat, and I wanted to film. So, his name was Chip. Chip and I got into the layout boat, and uh, we were sitting there, birds were working, ton of eider were working us, and uh, a little sill popped right up in front. Couldn't have been three feet in front of the boat. And just looked real curious. He popped back down, you know, swam around a little bit. You know, birds were working again. We lost interest in, in him. And then I heard something scratching on the front of the boat and the little guy's trying to come up the front of the boat, but it's too much of an incline for him. So he slid off the boat. Chip and I talked about it a few seconds. I was like, oh, that's cool. And uh, actually there were so many birds working and we weren't shooting that one of the, my guide in the, in the boat said, hey, you know, what's going on? And I said, hey, we have the seal trying to get in the boat with us. And then all of a sudden the little bugger comes right up on the side of the layout boat, puts his little claws or feet or whatever you call them right up on the edge and just waddled up, got right on top of me. And where I was filming for the birds, I mean, I'm, now I'm filming for the seal that's right on me. And, you know, a lot of people are like, oh man, how did, how did you handle that? What, you know, what was going through your mind? And to be honest with you, the only thing that was going through my mind was don't bite my face. That was it, it's just don't bite my face. He was so close that his, his whiskers, which were, I mean, they were like thorns, you know, they were touching my face. It was, it was, it was a cool experience, but nerving at the same time, then I handed the camera over to Chip. He kept recording and, uh, you know, he spent a little bit of time with us and, uh, I, I, I believe Chip named him Buddy Love, the seal, and uh, you know we cut up the video, put it online, and I'm telling you what, the response was amazing. It went viral overnight. I mean, we're talking hundreds of thousands of hits, and uh, still to this day, people call me about the video. Uh, actually, Fox and Friends had us come up to Boston and, and be on Fox and Friends Live in the morning. It was, it was a real cool experience, you know, one that I won't forget. And I'm sure that little seal won't never forget coming up on me either. Well, that's got to be the craziest thing I've ever heard of happening while duck hunting. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you've got your own story, I'd love to hear it. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. God bless and we'll see you next time. Surviving Duck Season, presented by Mojo Outdoors. Also brought to you by High and Dry at RovitRacks.com.